Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this series of videos of Acumatica 2023 R2, we're going to talk about estimated margin and margin amount that Acumatica has added to the upcoming version. So you could see it here, estimated margin percentage, 14.53%. So how does Acumatica get that? The formula for that is essentially the extended amount. So if we scroll over to the right, it's the extended amount after discounts. So in this case, $292.50 minus the cost of the item and then divided again by the amount times 100 to get your percentage. So that's how we get to 14.53%. And then, of course, the margin amount is simply the difference between the two. Additionally, Acumatica will ignore anything with zero dollar costs. Because you'll never get a good calculation there. If the total amount of the net sale, again, that's less any discounts, is greater than the line cost, the margin will be positive if it's an issue type line and negative if it's a receipt type line. So what is that? Well, that's when we have return documents, when the order type is, for example, a return, RR, where you're doing a swap and you're sending out product to the customer in exchange for the product you're taking back. Additionally, Acumatic has added it to the side panel dashboard called sales order status. You can normally find that under your sales order listing here. So this is our sales order list. It's the primary list for our sales orders. And you normally see it here. Unfortunately, with the beta I have, my side panel isn't functioning. But you'll see it here. It shows the sales order form, uh, your customer profile, sales order detail by customer, printed form, sales order status, and any kind of receivables. It looks like Acumatica is still working maybe on making more changes to this in the beta. So that's why I don't see it all. But you'll see the estimated margin in the dashboards. So if we were to go over to our dashboards directly, sales manager, for example, and scroll down, you can now see a margin average over last year. And as I said, also sales order status, which is a side panel, for the primary sales order list. But this data is now in there and you can use it uh, to add to any dashboard or report you'd like. So that's it. That's the ability now to see estimated margin on a sales order document. I talked about this in a previous demo about 2023 R2 where it related to the sales order being redesigned. But the other thing you can do, too, if you reach out to us, we have a add-on that allows you to actually configure your sales order based on a certain margin or markup step. So you could say, I'd like this whole sales order to be 18%, and it'll recalculate all the lines. Or you can do the same thing with a particular line. So if that's something that's interesting to you, uh, feel free to reach out to us. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please click the Like button. If you have any questions about this or anything else at Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and for subscribing and have a great day.